So a few months ago, I did a video on this guy here, Tenjin from Black Forge Games. Now I have one of his animals that I have done, and that is this guy here, which is the Kojiro Panther. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Creative Collector here. So today we are going to go through the build and paint up of the second piece of the Tenjin series, which is the Kojiro Panther. So this massive piece is a mythological creature from the series, and it is huge guys it is a massive massive piece here and anytime i get to do a fantasy piece it's like all out so this is a perfect time for me to experiment with pearl paints all kinds of different color schemes and everything and i'm going to make this thing bold and vibrant hey before we go any further though make sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos and i'm going to go ahead and tell you about my patreon i have a link below in the description so if you want to support the channel even further, click on that and join our group of modelers, builders, and painters over on our Discord. All right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about this up front. This piece is big. I mean, <laughs> it has a 27-inch wingspan on this thing, and from the nose to the back of the tail is 28 inches. So this thing is printed in 200% scale. I printed this on my Lanant base printer, and uh, let me tell you about this printer, guys. This thing is awesome. So guys, this is my Lanant 3D base printer here, and this is a lot bigger than the uh, any cubic you see here beside it, but let me tell you a little bit about this printer here. Uh, it's got a very large color screen on there, and what sets this apart from the rest of them is the dual axis up here that you see. So this thing right here helps prevent vibrations and any kind of line shifting whatsoever. And the detail is excellent. And that's all I can tell you is just excellent. The other thing too is it's got a bigger vat than the normal. Uh, holds up to 800 grams and this is an MSLA printer. Let me tell you too, this thing is super quiet. So quiet you won't be able to hear it except for actual uh, the piece going up and down in the vat. But other than that, I mean, you cannot hear a single thing. I question whether it was even running the first time I even uh, had it on. Check it out. I'll have a link below in the description to order you one. And also, I'll have some incredible discount codes on this printer right here. You won't be disappointed. And hopefully soon, I will be receiving their deck printer, and I'll be doing a review on that as well. So let's go ahead and get into the build. All right, so I just painted the wings black. And on here, I'm gonna use this pearl paint to do this part of the wing. And then I'll go back in and do a black wash on it and come back with uh, purple highlights as well. And this is what it looks like completed that way. And then I'm just doing a test purple here on the body just to kind of get a good feel for it. Make sure that this is the color that I want to use. All right, everybody, so for the essence of time here, what I did was I went ahead and I painted the necessary areas black that I wanted, and I actually sealed a couple of areas that I'm gonna have to be handling. Uh, that way I don't smudge all the paint off or anything like that. So what my goal here is, I'm gonna use this pearl purple here from Testers Aztec. Now, I can't tell you where to get this because I got this on clearance at Michael's like two years ago. And um, I'm just really getting into these pearl uh, paints here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pearl purple all the way through here on these spots that you see here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a black wash over it to get some really good depth into that texture there, as you can see. And then I'm gonna go back over it with the pearl purple again and do some shading in here. So we're gonna go back and forth with the black and with the pearl purple to get this really, really gorgeous effect on this skin here. And on the front up here on the mask, we're gonna, you'll see what we're gonna do with that one. That one's gonna be really cool as well. All right, so once I'm good with the color, I'm gonna go ahead and airbrush the rest of the purple into the body and get just a very good coat all over. All right, and once we get the purple on, this is what it looks like. 
as you can see it's very bold and that's exactly what I want so now I am going to use this black wash to go over all of the purple and then what I'll do is once that's all dry I'll go back and I will do some dry brushing with the purple to bring out a little bit of those highlights again And then I'll use this electric blue here to just dry brush on the back tail feathers just to give it a little bit of highlight that way it doesn't look so saturated and just flat with just black I want it to stand out a little bit and then I use the liquid leaf here on the front mask We'll go over this really, really good, and then we'll give it a good black wash, and then go back in and do some highlighting back on it. And right here, we're just adding the black wash over the gold to kind of give it an antique finish. And then I'll use that same electric blue here on the wings again just highlighting certain areas of it that way it stands out and doesn't look so flat and here i'm using a bone white to go over this black right here to accentuate these highlighted areas and then what i'll do on this i will actually go back and do a black wash on it to kind of dirty it up a little bit and here i'm giving the the animal a pedicure simply by just painting the nails And I'll also go back and do a wash and do some little shadowing on the nails as well. And right here is where I'm just taking the wash, going back in over that bone white. Antiquing it up and dirty it up, or weathering it a little, little bit. And then we'll highlight it back with the airbrush. So here on the nails, I am just adding a wash so I can go back and add highlights and some shadowing into the back of the nails. And right here, I'm laying out a just a standard white on the wings. So that way, whenever I add these uh, pearl colors, they'll stand out and I won't have to add tons of coats to them in order to get them to stand out. Adding this white base will help uh, make the colors pop a little better. I'm just getting both wings in here. And I'll do the smaller wings or the smaller feathers up on the wing as well, more of those uh, individually. And I do both sides of the wings. And I'll use this turquoise here to start uh, going into the wings and making part of the feathers a turquoise. And yes, I'll do both sides of the wings. And I just really wanted this vibrant color in the wings. Give it a little bit of color besides just a dark black and purple. And here I'll use this pearlized white to go back over the white part of the wings. Again, if you apply this pearl white over a black, it would just take several coats in order for it to pop out. And so by doing it over a white base, the pearlized uh, color will stand out a lot easier and this magenta here I used in the beginning but I actually went back and changed it to a red I just did not like the magenta as much as I thought I would 
And on the back tail feathers, I am just going in and painting the white the same way I did on the wings. So that way I can apply all the pearlescent colors and make them stand out a little better. I did change a couple things up at the end because I wasn't very happy with the color scheme. And you'll see that in the uh, final pictures. To me, this piece, uh, I got inspired by some of the Avatar animals on the movie. Kind of wanted the same type of uh, feel for it. And here all I'm doing is on the spine, I'm kind of doing a little bit of highlights here with the bone white. Kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of contrast to it and make it stand out a little bit so it's not so black. I wanted the essence of bone on here but I didn't want to oversaturate it with just a bone white. So I chose to go with a black first. And here I'm just doing a little shadowing on the pearl purple. And now we're down to the final details like the mouth and the teeth and the eyes. And then I will go back and do a little highlighting on the mask. And for the base, I am just doing a black wash over a light gray. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of a rust color in with this wash to give it a little bit of a little bit of color to it so it's not so bland. And here is where I am just doing the highlights on the mask. And then I'm adding these little turquoise areas right here. Uh, these were kind of like little dots on the ears and I thought it would just make it stand out just by using this turquoise on it. And adding a little gloss to the nails, finishing up the pedicure. And here I am just going in and doing some highlights onto the rock. And I'm adding a little bit of uh, hair to it, if you will. Giving a little bit of uh, accents here on the base. Trying some new and different things. And I'm going to put this shrubbery on here as well to kind of simulate, simulate moss. And this is the base on the final picks. everybody I hope you were able to get something out of that and to show you how big this thing is I'm going to take it off of the base here let me see let me back up here a little bit but this is the wingspan on this thing and you see how long my arm is so I have no idea where I'm going to put this thing and that is the tail right there so you see how long it is as well so I have two more animals to do that's the fox and the owl and I'm actually going to combine them with uh, one video uh, and I will be getting to painting those very, very soon. And I've already started on the portal. And guys, let me tell you how big this thing is. You're talking at almost five feet tall by four feet wide. 
and this thing will be just humongous. I'm not sure how I'm going to film this, um, but uh, I've already started on doing some of the parts, and I'll tell you that the roof is about four feet long, and uh, it's going to be huge in order to house all of these animals here. But hey, print big or go home, right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you got something out of it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, and while we're at it, I do have two new members to add to the Patreon. Welcome Aaron JCCC and Steve Brookover. Thank you guys so much for that extra support of the channel. And if you want to help support the channel, just simply watch the videos. You want to go a little step further, then come on and join the Patreon. And I also might mention that I do have affiliate links below. If you click on there and order some product from through the Amazon affiliate link program, I do get a small kickback and that also helps support the channel at no extra cost to you, by the way. And also don't forget, get out there and create something, print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, stay safe out there and we'll see you.